I don't know. Oh, oh. I have an invisible player bug. He killed me. If you've played Tarkov for any amount of time, you've probably heard of this guy. But do you notice something different with this streamer than other streamers? I'll give you a hint. Look at this guy's like headphones. This. Like Have you ever seen this logo at the bottom of Landmark stream? Ever wondered what it was? Wait, uh, uh what? Does that say $2,000? Hold on. What are these? These are in-ear monitors, and in-ear monitors are... Wait, before I answer that question, if you've already spent a lot of time and or money on configuring your own audio setup, this video might not be for you. $5,000 computer, $2,300 mixer, $4,000 stream rig for rain sounds. However, I will be making a second part of this video that goes more in depth on audio equalization and balancing that could be useful to you. In today's video, I'm going to be recommending a bunch of budget IEMs, and that means they're going to be under $100. Now, if you have a generic headset or if you have audio equipment that you don't fully trust, these could make all the difference in your gameplay. But why use a $50 pair of in-ear monitors over a $50 pair of headphones? Why are in-ear monitors better? Well, let me show you an example, and then I'll explain. I heard something. Go show me. I heard something. Goshen. Something Goshen. Killed them. Killed one at least. Now how did I hear that guy over my team's stampede of footsteps? During this encounter I was wearing Truthier X Critical Zero dual driver in-ear monitors. And as long as you're using quality in-ear monitors, the more drivers, the better. The driver is the device that produces sound in these audio devices. Dynamic drivers tend to produce multiple frequencies, that meaning they can produce highs, mids, or lows, bass, and treble. The problem with single driver devices is the bass can often overpower the mids or the highs, so certain frequencies can overpower other frequencies and then the listener can't hear those important audio cues that they're listening for. However, certain drivers are made to produce one set of frequencies and then they use a second driver to produce another set of frequencies. So one driver can handle the low end, one driver can handle the high end. One driver handles a bass, one driver handles a treble. This makes it easier for a listener to distinguish between, let's say, huge, bassy gunshots and the subtle crackling of leaves as people walk by, while both of these things are happening at the same time. Oh, I hear him. He's in there. Uh, to the left, like deep in the left. Sounded like it, yeah. Unless I got weird audio cues from you, but I don't think so. Dead. Good shit, bro. The truth here, Critical Zeros are a great option for Tarkov. However, there's another company called Tin Hi-Fi that I really enjoy as well. They have a pair of in-ear monitors called the T2 Pros as well as the T3 Pros, and they're arguably just as good, if not better, as the Critical Zero for the same price. I suggest before making a big decision that you look around at what Tin Hi-Fi has and look at the Critical Zeros as well as a couple more options. Stick to the Asian in-ear monitor consumer market. Don't go to the American consumer market because they're way more expensive for the same quality at certain price points.